when it comes to software, I like to jump right in. But I'm at a point where you know some of the basics and maybe you want to arrange your screen. So there's a properties tab over here and this is your properties and this changes depending on what you're working on. So if I'm working on text, this will display text properties. Like I can change my characters and my text, but I have a box here. So now this is all, what can I do with, I can change the fill, I can change the stroke, I can put a gradient. So I, what I can do with this shape. So this usually is over here just because it changes depending on what you need to. But there's often these double arrows are tiny on the top of a panel. That means I can collapse the panel, but I can also click on the same double arrows and expand the panel so I can switch between the different views. Um, if I have, for instance, we just were looking at gradients recently, and I use this a lot, um, I can take this and drag it so it's now part of my properties. Same thing, if there's something here and you don't, want it anymore I can click and hold click and hold and drag it away and I can close out of it so a lot of people take some of the common panels that they use and stick them on the screen um, we used appearance lately um, recently um, I can dock if I hold my mouse on the right hand side here it'll dock it so now I have two panels I'm gonna un, um, pull this out and get rid of it. Um, if I pull something away, again, just to show you the docking, um, I can even dock it here in a second column so I can order the structure there. And again, there's a collapse and I can open that up so those triangles can open that up. And so I would want to group similar panels in each category. Like I like the color the gradient and the swatches in the same section. And then I might have another of a line and text. I work a lot with text and aligning the text, making sure it's all adjusted. So I would want to put those together. And again, maybe you'd find some of these workspaces um, that work for you. Or if this is the setup that I want, I can actually create a new workspace and I can call this whatever I want. Um, and then if I ever try another workspace, there's the layout workspace, but under workspace, now I have this tutorial that I just set up and this takes me back to the screen that I had. So you can arrange your panels as you wish. You can pull them out, you can delete things, you can name things so you have your own common settings that you like. Um, but there's workspaces and, and that's just how you can arrange things on your screen.